The NBA is one of the greatest leagues in all of sports, but they've got some major issues. For the NBA Finals this year, the highest TV rating was a 7.5 and the 2020 NBA Finals had the lowest TV ratings for an NBA Finals in decades, which is scary as it featured two big markets in LA and Miami. There's no question that there are issues with the NBA, and here are some of them. First up, we've got viewer fatigue. Viewer fatigue has been a major problem as the Warriors have been in five of the past seven NBA Finals, and just seeing the same team over and over again can get tiring, and you want to see some more parity in the league. In this day and age, we are more impatient as we can get our hands on anything, and with the same team being there every year, just makes it less interesting and fun. The Warriors are a great team, and no hate to them, but if there were different teams in the NBA Finals year in and year out, the league would be in a better place. Another possible issue is that the league could be facing a lack of defense. The points per game in the league have increased dramatically over the past decade. The past four years, teams have averaged overall more than 110 points per game. Before then, the last time the average points per game was over 110 was the 1985-1986 season. You can call me an old head for this, but the defense isn't the same anymore without the hand check rule, which I feel was a good way to neutralize too much scoring, which will bring me to my next point. Another major issue making the league go downhill is foul baiting from players such as Trey Young and James Harden. I know, I know, they made that rule where you can't exactly move into the player or change your shooting motion, but that didn't really do much. I can't fault the players too much as they're just doing their job and exploiting the rules to get points and give their team a better chance to win. But with that, it just makes the game extremely boring and less exciting time and time again. I just think that the rip through move, among others, has gone too far and the NBA needs to step in and do something to make sure that offensive players that are foul baiting don't get rewarded. The next one is going to be controversial to the small market team fans, but another issue is the lack of big market team success. I know the Lakers won a couple years ago, but that was in the bubble and there were people who weren't really watching because they disliked player activism as well as worrying about COVID. If the Knicks, Lakers, and Bulls, among others, were all at the top of the standings, the NBA ratings would be through the roof, and there would be a lot more fans tuning into games, tweeting, and following the NBA more than before. Imagine the media frenzy and attention if the NBA would get a series between the Knicks and the Lakers. The attention that series would get is insane, and everyone would tune in to watch that series. Now this next point is huge. The biggest reason why the NBA is going downhill is the trade demands a year into the contract. Before the hate, I think that the modern day free agency is great as it allows players to go wherever they want and gives players a freedom that there just was not before. But demanding trades after only being on contract on the team for a year or two is just arrogant. For example, Kevin Durant, who signed a four-year extension a little over a year ago, demanded a trade a year after. My question is, why would you sign the contract if you didn't want to be on the team? I understand if you and the team are looking in different directions and you agree on a trade, but the act of signing a deal and then immediately just requesting your trade is wrong to me. But owners don't do their best either to make this a better issue as they constantly blindside players with trades and there's a disconnect between them and the players. So the athletes aren't totally to blame since the owners don't treat them right a lot of the time. But I just don't think this excuses the players from demanding a trade and not honoring the contract that they just signed. Well guys, that's going to do it for today's video, so thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon so that you get notified about all of our future uploads. Thanks again, and we'll see you all in the next one.